Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm so, so excited to talk about what we are getting into now. Um, travel, adventure, like of seeing new places. That is one of my favorite things to do with my free time and all my spare money. And that gets me really excited about this next project, which is pushing travel. And I can't wait actually to download this app and make all my friends download it too. So how about you guys tell us what it's about? Hello, my name is Nithika Nadgar, and this is Jasmine Zangi and Francesca Fasulo, and we have created Pusheen Travel, a Pokemon Go-like application that allows users to create scavenger hunts and collect Pusheen images along the way. It's a fun way for a user to travel and at the same time have a fun game and collect cute Pusheens. We created this app because we were interested in creating a mobile app that uses augmented reality. One of the first challenges we faced creating this application, because we were creating it for iOS, was to find a way to code in JavaScript for an iOS platform. Luckily, there's a library called React, Cam React Native Camera, which allows us to overlay an image on the camera screen. So for this demo, let's pretend I'm a user named Francesca, or actually Fran, or Francesca, and I'm in New York City for the first time, and I want to discover and see all the major attractions in New York City. So what I could do is I could choose a pre-made map that was made, that's made by our app to see all the attractions in New York City, or I could create my own map to discover new places in New York. Jasmine is going to continue with the demo. So as Fran, I can start exploring. I can choose a map for my map collections and go visit all of the places in that map. When I open the map, I could see all of the places represented by a little Pusheen icon. Then when I reach a location, I can click on the Pusheen and collect it. And if I really get there, the camera would open and I can take a picture of the place that I've just visited. If I want, I can go back to the map and then I can see that the Pusheen is not there anymore because I've collected it. It is now in my visited places list in my account. If I want, I can reset the map as well and start the game all over again. One challenge we have solved here was integrated Firebase database, which is a NoSQL database. We had to implement functionality of constructing JavaScript, uh, complex JavaScript object by associating different uh, JSON data retrieved from the database. Now, if I'm just getting lazy or tired and just want to explore, I can do explore mode, where I can see all recommended places in the area. I can click on each one of them and read all about that area, the place. Now, Francesca would come to present the Create New Map feature and discuss some more about function different functionality and technologies we use. So as a user, I can create my own scavenger hunt list with any places that I think are interesting or I would want to go to. So I can create a map by specifying a name, description, and general location for where I'm going to store all of my items. And then I can click on the map, adding a pin for each location I want to add to my scavenger hunt list. So implementing this functionality was quite challenging. And one of the first challenges we faced was being able to access all of these scavenger hunt list items as the user is walking around wherever they're looking for items in real time. So initially, we thought we would do this by calculating the distance between every single item on the scavenger hunt list and the user's current location as they're walking around in real time. So as you can imagine, this process was very data intensive and slow, and it caused our app to lag a lot. So we had to find an alternative solution. To do this, we implemented a library called GeoFire, which allowed us to store places with their coordinates. And as we, the user gets closer and closer to each place, they have access to that object, and they can display it on their map. So this allowed us to only display items on the map that the user is actually really close to and can collect. Another challenge we faced was getting Google Maps implemented into our application. We initially used React Native Maps, and it provided a really easy way for us to use an Apple Map. But we found that Apple Maps didn't give us the functionality and styling that we wanted in our application, so we had to find a way to get Google Maps working. And while React Native Maps does provide a way to do this, it's very complicated, and we had to use Xcode, we had to install CocoaPods, and we had to write a couple lines in Objective-C. So that was really challenging because all of those were completely new to us, but we did end up getting Google Maps working and the styling of our maps is something we're really proud of. Um, so for the front end of our app, we used React, React Native, and Redux. We used Firebase on the back end and for functionality, we used GeoFire for real-time location querying. We used 
React Native Animatable and React Native Camera for our augmented reality component of our app, and we use the Trip Expert API to get data for our explore mode. We're really proud of what we were able to create, and we hope you enjoyed learning more about Pusheen Travel, and thank you for listening. Great. They ran into so many technical challenges trying to implement that, and I was just very impressed with the final product. Yeah, it looks great, and I think it's a testament both to their work and how far JavaScript to build apps has come, like React Native. I mean, that's, that's incredible that React Native is doing, the AR is doing um, yeah. all that stuff as well, so very nicely. I'm sure I don't want to ask what Pusheen means, yeah. but... Pusheen oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> But if you right. like that pro uh, project, yeah, and you want to vote for it, you can like this post or um, like the pinned comment. Yeah. All right. When, do, when should we expect it in the App Store? After Apple approval? <laughs> okay. Yeah, next week. Just waiting on Apple approval. All right. <laughs>